Hey everybody, what's up? Mike here to help you guys get a little better with Camtasia. So far we've gone through, kind of just walked through the timeline, how to modify files, how to move them, drag drop, all of that stuff. But what I wanna do today is focus a little more on adding a little bit of flair and some additional features to your video that really make it stand out from just being a boring, kind of just plain screen cap file. So let's jump right into it. So we have our very, very boring project right here. All it really is, is me on a backdrop and I was talking, we filmed this during one of our previous lessons on Camtasia. Um, let's say in our case though, you know what we really wanna do? I wanna have, maybe I want the video to start off with a fade in. So I wanna fade the entire video in. And then from there, I want this video clip right here in the bottom right. So this little talking head clip of myself. I want it to fade in with some kind of effect maybe. And the same thing, I want it to fade out with some kind of effect. So let's do that. So to do that, what we need to do is go to transitions on the left side of the screen. And here's where you'll find all of the different types of transitions depending on what you're trying to do. Um, let's go ahead and find, let's do, I think we're just gonna do like a basic fade. Um, we have, there's quite a, quite a number of these as you can see. Um, yeah, let's do fade. So we'll just do fade. As you can see, I have a star next to it. So that's one of my favorites. So instead of searching for this, we could have just gone to my favorites right up here. And that's my recommendation to you. So let's say, um, you know, let, well, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this for now, but I'll show you on the next one. So from here, we take that transition effect. All you gotta do to apply it to one of your clips is click it, drag it, and just drop it on the clip you want to apply it to. So if I drop it here, it'll be applied there. I can drop it on this clip at the beginning or end. Likewise, to the end of this clip, whatever the case is. In my case, I'll drop it right there. If we go to the very beginning of the video and we hit the space bar, we'll see our transition being applied. Let's go ahead. There we go. We see the fade in does work, but maybe in my case, I want it to be a more specific fade. So the default timing there is probably about a half second or so. I wanna be a little quicker. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is how to zoom in. Now you can zoom in on this timeline right here by using this zoom right here. I like using the keyboard shortcuts here. So what I typically do is command plus for the main screen right here and down here, I'll do shift command plus and that kind of expands it as we see here. So now if I go scroll left, that transition is right here. So if I want to adjust the length of the transition, I can click right there and I can just adjust that transition itself. So if I want it really fast, I'll make it very short and hit play. See how that came in very quick? If I want it very slow, I'll drag it way over there and it'll be a very slow transition. All right, in our case, I'm gonna move it back here. So that, that looks about right. Now I said I also wanted to have a kind of a cool fade in effect or some kind of effect on my little talking head video here as well. So again, we're under transitions. Let's look at something else. Um, let's just pick something. And if we wanna preview it, by the way, we can actually see that if I move my mouse over here, it shows me what kind of transition it is. So I can actually preview them very quickly. Um, ooh, I kinda like this glitch one actually. So I'm gonna click glitch. Um, I'm also fond of this glow one. So as you see, it kind of like makes it really bright and then it goes into the, the transition clip. Uh, but in our case, I'm gonna do glitch but I'm gonna click the favorite here because I wanna show you how to do that. So once I've saved that transition to my favorites, I can then go to favorites up here and these are all of my favorite transitions or favorite effects and that sort of thing. So in this case, I have glitch right here. Let's click it and drag it onto our clip right here. And if we go back before that and we hit the space bar, we'll see what the effect of that transition is. And yeah, I actually love that. I think that's perfect. Maybe a little shorter, something like that. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's perfect. From there, I'm going to again do shift command. In this case, I'm going to do a minus. So plus, shift command plus would make us zoom in, minus zooms out like that. This is very helpful to get used to those so that way you can quickly navigate with your project, especially when you're working with a lot of video. Um, I also want that same glitch effect on the end of the clip too. So I'll drag it here and I'll just kind of eyeball it. That looks about right. And we'll play it. There we go. That looks good. All right, 
From there, we have a lot of other things we can do here. Um, I think one of the things I wanna show you guys is how to also put text on the screen. To do that, all we have to do is go over under annotations on the left, and we have a few options. One is we could, well, we could select any of these obviously, but um, the one I use quite a bit is this one right here with the rectangle and the letters on it. So if you click this, all you gotta do is drag it onto the screen itself, or you can drag it directly onto the timeline wherever you want it. I personally like dragging this onto the screen so that I can kind of place it wherever I want it. So I'll put mine like in the center here. We can adjust the size as well. So let's click it, just kind of make it a little bit longer. And that's about right. From there, once we have that object on the screen to actually kind of format it and do all of those things we want it to affect the look, we can go to the right of the screen. We see right here, we're under the call out tab. So we can specify the shape. We could actually change that shape here. Uh, we could change the fill. I think I wanna do maybe like black. So I'll click that, make that black. Uh, we could change the outline color in my case. Um, yeah, let's just stick with black also. We could also make it partially uh, opaque. So we could make it a little bit see-through if we wanted to. I don't really care for that look, but we could do that. Uh, if we go to the A right here, that's where we can actually modify the text itself as far as the format, the font, all of that, uh, and the size, of course. Finally, if we go over to the last one here, we can adjust the rotation of this box, the position. And I wanna show you guys a trick about that, by the way. So let's say we wanna change this text. I'll, I'll double click on it and I'll say uh, text box one. And I want that to be, let's go change our color. So I, I want that to be like white, something very easily. Um, all right, so we see that there. Now, if I play this, you'll notice it just pops up with just you know no effect, it just pops up on the screen. The cool thing about Camtasia, we can use all those same effects I just showed you, even on text boxes. So I could go back to transitions and I could pick our glitch effect again if I wanted to. And there we go, apply that and simply hit play. And we see that same transition is applied to this text box. Now, what I wanna show you guys that's really cool here, so I'm actually going to duplicate this bottom clip, so this track one. Now, I could right click on it and do copy paste, but in my case, I'm just going to do Command C, Command V, and I'm going to drag that onto that same clip. And in our case, I'm going to actually remove that transition and magnetize this. That way it kind of pulls them together. The only reason that I'm doing this is first to illustrate how to do that, how to duplicate a clip but also so that we have something on our background of our, our video. So what I wanna show you here that's really important about putting things, uh, whether it's video clips, text boxes, whatever, on your Camtasia uh, videos, is placement of them. How, do you be, how can you be consistent about the placement of your objects, specifically the location? In my opinion, one of the most amateur things you can do is have a text box pop up goes away and then another one pops up, but it's slightly off and it just doesn't look right. So, and I'm saying amateur as an insult to myself because I used to do that a lot. So let me show you how to fix this. So what I want to do in our case, this text box one, I want that to pop up more than one time, but I want it to say different things. And I also want it in the exact same location as before. So let's say, uh, let me go ahead and highlight that, Command C, Command V, we'll move it over here and we'll go right here. Now, since I pasted it, it's already in the same spot. That's kind of the cool thing. So if I click here and I say text box two and I give it a, let's do a different fill color just so we know it's a different one. There we go. So we see if I scroll through here, that one's up, goes away, that one's up, goes away. Now, what if I created a new element, say, say it was there, you know, or I moved it around or something, right? And now it's way up there. How do I get that box exactly in the same position as this one right here? The way that we could do this is go to the original object that you kind of want to copy the location, select it in Camtasia, and then go to the video icon right here, and then take note of the position right here. And optionally, the size as well. If you want to copy the exact size, you can take note of that too. What I do, honestly, it's, it's, it's a really slow way. You could either take a screenshot with 
uh, your Mac by doing Command Shift 4 and just doing something like this. Just highlight it, take a screenshot, just leave it on your desktop and refer to that. Sometimes I'll even take a picture with my iPhone real quick. I'll just snap a picture and then come back to it and just reference those numbers. Whatever you do though, um, and you know what? And actually, to be honest, I will do that in this case. So I will put, I will take a note of those that position. There we go. Probably one of the only YouTubers to actually pull up their iPhone while in the middle of a video. Um, first, we'll then go to our new object, right? And now the position is completely different, right? It's completely different than the other one. So all I'll do is reference those values. The other one was negative 16.1. It was, the Y was negative 417.1. And that was the same, that's the same. So yeah, now if we look at this, look at this. If I scroll through here, they're in the exact same position. It's a really easy way to do that. All right, the other thing I wanna add while we're here is when I talked about being able to split video clips within Camtasia, the same thing applies in terms of text. They kind of operate the same way. So if I, you know, for example, this one, right, I wanted it to end right here. I could zoom in, again, Shift Command Plus. Zoom in right here, I can do Command T and hit delete to delete that extra stuff off there. And from there, that's it, right? I was able to trim it very easily, just like it was a video clip. But here's kind of the cool thing. Let's say I then go, you know, actually I wanted it to go right here. Instead of doing Command Z and going back through all of that, you can click the end of a clip and just drag it and we can extend it so now the text goes to the exact point that we wanted it to go. All right, there's one more thing I wanna show you before we close out this video, and that is how to use an effect called Smart Focus. This is essentially a way that whenever you're sharing your screen, Camtasia, once you've applied this effect, will automatically zoom into different parts of your screen for you based on whatever you're doing in that screen. So in our case, we have this back, background video right here where I'm moving around, clicking things. Uh, let's see, I moved, uh, I think I moved a, a screen right, yeah, there we go. I opened up some, some finder windows and that sort of thing. So what we can do is we can go over to animations on the left here and go down to the very bottom and select smart focus. And it gives you this preview. You can see how it automatically zooms in. If we click it, we apply it to an entire clip. So you just drag it, drop that effect on your clip. And if I go ahead and go back here, we can see that it actually, it adds these little automation points or animation points. So if I move my mouse slowly over here, it actually zooms in because it saw my mouse go there. It stays there, it sees my mouse moving and it zooms out. And if I go ahead and zoom out myself, shift command minus, I can also see the other points that it zooms. So I can see it zooms out here because I went full screen then it started zooming in and then I threw it off because I adjusted things. So that's actually a good example. So let's zoom in on this one and let's fix this. So it starts zooming in and then right there, I zoom out. So maybe I wanna get rid of this one altogether. I just select it and I could right click and go to delete or I just hit delete. Now the net result here is it zooms out. I go full screen. Um, we could say, let's check out this one. This one zooms in over here. Maybe I want it to zoom in a little earlier. So what I can do is I can change the start and stop points of that zoom or that smart focus. So I can just click this, drag it back. By the way, this will also make for a longer, smoother zoom. So if I play, it's kind of a little slower. And if we go take this, we can move it back here. So this completely changes the point of that zoom. So it goes from there very fast over and that's it. Now, the other thing we could do here is I could actually change what it zooms into. So let's do, um, let's just change something like that. So now if I, now if I go back to prior to that smart focus taking effect and I hit play, we see it actually zooms into a completely different part than it was before automatically. That's all there really is to it. That allows you to very easily affect where it zooms in, when it zooms in, that sort of thing. Now you can do that manually within Camtasia, but I don't wanna cover that in today's video yet. I just wanted to give you guys some easy ways to make a big impact in your videos very quickly. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and make sure you subscribe, because let's be honest, if you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? You gotta subscribe.
more stuff like this. Stay safe and healthy. Take care.